So Susie, this is the septic tank I was telling you about, which is still under construction. I am in a 3.5 meters deep hole right now. Esther, I haven't been in a hole before. So <laughs> tell us about the septic tank. No, it's okay, relax, it's yeah. okay. So this septic tank is going to be constructed into three sections. Okay. So when our water comes from the manhole, it is going to be directed into the first section. In the first section, this is where major settlement takes place. And solid particles settle down, and then water floats on top. And then from the, that clear water is directed into the second section. In the second section, further settlement takes place. And by the time we channel this water into the third section, it is clearer. So from the third section, our water is going to be channeled to the soak pit. Okay, and uh, what is the soak pit then? What is the use of the soak pit? Yeah. Soak pit is that big pit that we dig and we fill it with stones. So we start with bigger stones down and then we come reducing the sizes and by the time we get on top, we have the smallest size. So we cover it with a cavera and soil on top. So when our water comes from the septic tank, it moves through the stones and finds its way into the sides of the soak pit and gets absorbed by the soil. And uh, then, uh, so how does a biodigester work then? A biodigester can be purchased on market or it can be constructed on site. So what happens, microorganisms are introduced into the biodigester and then they feed on the solid particles from the toilet and leave their plain water. So this water is also directed into the soak pit. Wow. Something interesting that I have learned today from Esther is that all the waste from our houses actually ends up back into the soil. Wow. So um, Esther, tell us about the grey water. What happens to the grey water? So grey water also has its own soak pit separate from the one of the, ma of the septic tank. So when our water comes from the, from the manhole, it moves to the, to the soak pit. But before it gets into the soak pit, it has to first go through a sieve trap, a grease trap. A grease trap is meant to trap or sieve those oils, those fats, those solid particles that could have come in water. Okay. So that only plain water goes through and finds its way into the sides of the soak pit and also gets absorbed by the soil. And then this marks the final stage of our drainage. I believe this has been a great learning experience for all of us. Do not miss out on watching part 3 of this video presentation where we are going to understand what you should do and what you should not do plus also how we can work together for a clean, sustainable and proper maintenance of the drainage system to preserve Mother Nature. See you next week.